What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here procrastinating once again because there's a lot of laundry that I have to do this morning and I've been putting it off until I found a new story that I really wanted to talk about. This one involves Playboy. Now I want to give a shout out to a shout out to Soul Shield who linked me to this article from My Nintendo News, which is a very prestigious Nintendo news reporting website. He said, Etika, okay, you have to read this. And at first I was like, okay, I mean obviously I do get a lot of articles from you dudes, but is this one really worth reading? And then I saw Nintendo has been inviting Playboy models to play Splatoon. And I knew instantaneously your boy had to get on it. Splatoon is looking like it's going to be one massive title for the Wii U this year. Looking like it's going to be probably the best third person shooter on the console in general. It has a really fun quirky side to it, but with some really intense looking competitive mechanics as well. It looks like it's going to be a great title and it got great reception at Apex for the small amount of time that it was there until the venue got shut down. So I mean, all in all, Splatoon is looking really good. Anyways, but Nintendo's really been promoting it well, and here we go! Playboy magazine models playing fucking Splatoon early? My nigga! <laughs> Invite me to the preview! Invite me to the preview! Anyways, Nintendo has been inviting Playboy models to play Splatoon. Oh my god, I would play with them. I play Splatoon. Oh man. Nintendo of America is taking its marketing to a new level and has invited a number of Playboy models to test out its colorful shooter Splatoon. This is the first time I'm reading this article, by the way. Who would have thought it? Still, the more exposure the action shooter gets, the better. Splatoon should be coming out on May 29th in Europe according to a leaked release schedule that was uploaded on Nintendo Europe servers earlier today. Holy shit! Is this article from today? Is this from today? March 24th, yeah, it, it is from today. So apparently there was a leaked release schedule as well with Splatoons. Okay, so you know, there's a lot of stuff going on with Splatoon right now. The release date, it's getting kind of near. So of course, naturally, as we get closer to a release date, there's gonna be a lot more high speculation and we could potentially be seeing a whole lot of leaks, early copies and all that stuff. But Playboy magazine models, man. Do we get any pictures, dog? <laughs> <laughs> they get any pictures? Them girls getting covered in paint? Like, what? <laughs> I want to know what's going on. Let's check out some of these comments, though. Um, Haha, -ha, old Nintendo from Gideon. You never, you wait, you never always seem to surprise me. Dude, the grammar. <laughs> you never always seem to surprise me? Come on, come on, Gideon. Oh, okay, he corrected himself. Okay, you know, hey. Um, Anonymous says, I would splat my ink on those... <laughs> There's so many jokes to make with this. Why specifically Playboy models, Nintendo? You must know the sexual undertones that go with that kind of an arrangement. You must know. You're inviting all these hot girls to come and spray paint on each other in this awesome game, which has all these, like, oh my god, Nintendo, I love you. Nintendo's just been doing, do you guys remember when E3, I don't remember if it was E3, I think it was E3 where um, Nintendo hired all those hot girls to demo the 3DS. I think it was E3 and it was just a bunch of hot girls and they were just letting people try out the Nintendo 3DS when it first was um, being previewed. It was a crazy time and you know Nintendo, like as you guys know of course, you know this is nothing new, Nintendo has been a lot more edgy, or maybe not edgy but a lot more daring with their marketing campaigns on certain things lately so I mean this just fits in perfectly. We gotta get pictures though, Nintendo. We gotta get pictures. They're probably, think about it though. If they're inviting Playboy models out to play Splatoon, this is probably gonna be something that's publicized later on. Maybe as like an advertising campaign or something. Oh, we're letting people try out the new Splatoon game on the Wii U, and we invited a bunch of Playboy bunnies to come through to give the game a test run. So it works. It works. We could potentially be seeing some footage of these girls getting splattered. Um, I always said this is a very sexually arousing game. How? <laughs> They're squid! Tentacle porn? Yeah, okay, okay. They invited sluts instead of their fans? Oh, come on! Not, we don't need one of you guys in here. Um, I'm failing to see how this will sell units. This is one of the games I'm sitting on the fence with. I'm not quite giving up on it, but I'm not sure I like the game. A demo would be nice because then people can decide if it's a game that they will buy or not. I will agree with you in one place that I would like a demo. There's a lot of hype, naturally, but 2014 was the year of died hype with games because there were so many games that were coming out that had hype from before that turned out to be big flops. Um, huh? <laughs> uh, something, something, Bukaki, something. <laughs> yes. Uh, Curie says, this is hilarious when you consider Nintendo extended their hands to feminists recently and yet they got spat on by radicals. This is a great middle finger response back to them. 
Okay. Uh, man, I'm not even buying this shit on my Wii U. Come on. Well, you know what? To each their own, but it's definitely a title I'm going to be looking into. What do you guys think of this whole thing, though? Are you excited for Splatoon the closer we get to the release date? Because I do know there are some naysayers out there. I am. I'm definitely one of them, and I'm going to be trying to get some gameplay footage up of the game. It just seems like it's such a cool little fun title, and it has like such a deep competitive aspect to it at the same time. I, the way I see Splatoon, it's like the third-person shooter of Pokemon, whereas it's really attractive and appealing to the eyes, and kind of seems like it's made for younger audiences, but deep, deep down within the crevices of the game mechanics, it's a lot more of a competitive shooter than it seems on the surface. So, I mean, that's the way I see it. Just like Pokemon. Pokemon's way more competitive than what it seems at the surface. So, I mean, let me know what you think about this in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. If there's, any, if there's ever any footage of these Playboy bunnies playing Splatoon, you know who's going to be posting that shit first. Come through to your boy. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.